Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. I have been solving math problems for GRE out of this book here. Practicing to take the GRE general test, the 10th edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase it immediately. You need it in order to practice for the exam. It has seven real exams. The problems that I'm about to solve are the ones that appear on page number 207. I'm going to start with number one. These are called quantitative comparison. Uh, the first few are very simple, very straightforward. And I was debating going back and forth whether or not I should skip this particular one. It's too simple. But uh, I didn't want to skip anything. I wanted to go in sequence 1 through 15 without skipping anything at all. So here we go. Even though it's very straightforward, as I said, it's very simple. 93% of people who took the exam got this question right. 7% missed it. Uh, they give you a little picture here. Let me see if I what I can do here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. I'm not doing a very good job of showing these edges. Two, three, four. Then there is one in here. There's two here. Something, just, something to this nature. And they are defining this notation as a connection and they are defining this dot as a joint. And they basically they want you to compare how many joints there are versus how many, how many connections there are. Well, you don't, really, you don't really have to do anything at all. Just think of this thing. If, if I put if I put if I put two connections together, one and two, this, this they're defining this as a connection, it has three joints, obviously. Because it's not closed, the joints is gonna be let me put here column A, what what do you have in column A? Joints or connection? Joints. Joints in column A is always gonna be one more than the more one more than the connection. Always going to be one more than the connection. Here's your column B. If, if you have n connections, the joints are going to be n plus one. As you can see right here, if you have two connections, this is a connection, this is a connection, there are three joints one, two, three. Similarly, here you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I must have missed something here. Did I miss anything at all? Ah, you see, I missed one very easily. It's very easy to do. It's very easy, to, very easy to miss one. There are ten of them there. I knew there had to be ten because there are there are altogether nine connections here. There are what they're calling nine. N is your nine, so joint has to be one more than that. Has to be. And when I only got nine, I knew I was missing one. There are nine of them. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in red. One, two, three, let's put them here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. As you can see, there are nine connections, ten joints, nothing to it. No big deal. I don't know why I made a big fuss about it. It's a simple problem. That's what we're done. That's all. Let's move on to the next problem then. Just going to leave it on the screen. Uh, I'm going to take a look at a time in the back. So that was the end of the first problem. Let's look. Let's take a look at the second one. And the second problem
So the answer to the first question was 10, uh, 10, 10 joints, 9 connections, and therefore the answer is A. In the second problem, they want you to compare the quantity Y versus 11. And the information that is given to us is, is that Y equals 3 times X over 4. Well, in order, in order for me to find Y, I need to figure out the value of X. And then they go on to tell you that X equals 2 times Z over 3. Well, again, in order to figure out the X, I need to figure out the value of Z or Z, whatever you prefer. So they, give, they, all, they go on and they will give you the value of Z. Z, Z is 20. All you have to do is plug in the value of Z in here and solve for it. So let's go for it. So X equals 2 times 20 over 30. That's my X there. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about I'm not gonna worry about simplifying this thing. It's a waste of time to try to simplify it. Just leave it like this, put it in here, take this value of x, 2 times 20 over 3, put it in here. So y equals 3 quarter, you see, 3 over 4 times x, because this is the same as 3 quarter of x. So here's my x, 2 times 20 over 3. And now you do your work. Don't waste your time over there. So now it's very simple. This 3 is going to cancel out with this 3. This 4 goes into this thing 5 times. So it's 2 times 5. So y equals 10. 2 times 5. Y equals 10. On the other column I have 11. Therefore the answer is B. And that's all there is. That's all there is. But don't waste your time trying to figure this out. 40 over 3 it does not go even into it and people sit there and try to it's not, it's, it's not about computation, they just want you to compare, it's very straightforward. Don't end up doing nagging or knowing calculation in the exam, that is not the point of the exam. If you find yourself doing, the, doing such things, that means you're missing something. That wasn't the point. Anyway, that was it. I hope you found it helpful. If you wish to get hold of me to buy the solution manuals to this problem in this book, or if you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, in either case, Go to my website at www.prep, P R E P prep, F O R 4 G R E.com and send me an email. Alright? Thanks.